What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Azu satellite gameplay video for you guys today, and today we're going to try out Armor Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. And it seemed to run all right ish on the Steam Deck 30 40 FPS experience, mostly 40, with the right settings after all. So, hopefully, this thing can follow suit and give us a similar experience, if not maybe hopefully a little better. So, I'm gonna try to hook it up to the capture computer. This thing almost never works for that thing, but every once in a blue moon it works, so maybe this time it will. Although, with a game like this, since there's 1080p and 720p and all that stuff, it'll probably maybe work once or twice, and then it would probably shit out on me and be like, all right, well now no more. You know, just start coming out of the speakers you know, halfway through, so might as well just do the whole thing camera in the first place. So, why don't we go ahead and go ahead and look at some settings. All right, well, starting off at 1080p, we are going to try to see if this runs. It's probably gonna run like absolute crap because we're gonna try maximum settings like we usually do. So let's go check out what those entail. And then we can even try ray tracing at the end but I'm not gonna do that right away and just max the whole thing out because then it'll probably run like absolute dog crap. But we'll try it right before we do my settings at the end. But now, let's go hop on into the game and we'll see how it does. All right, well, here we are. Oh, whoops, I forgot. Gotta put that back to uh, gamepad mode. There we go. I had to put it in desktop mode to frickin' try to put my name in. At first I was worried, I was like, oh shit, can I not play this game because I can't put my name in, but no, luckily I got it. But yeah, it seems like a 30 FPS experience with, I'm sure, drops into the 20s here and there. I need to get more stuff in that. I wasted it. There we go. We can effortlessly get up there. Remember, this is unplugged too. It'd get way better performance if I had it plugged into the wall, but that's just not how I do things. Yep, see we're in the 20s now. Yeah, can't quite handle maximum at 1080p, but I kind of figured that was going to happen. Alright, cool. Repair kits for the win. even out in the outside this was all while we were inside so yeah maximum stupid idea on this ally at least at 1080p maybe 720p it can give us some playable but not at 1080 so let's go drop it down to high and see how that does now we'll drop it just down to high at 1080p so as you can see right there we're on high now let's just cruise through the settings just real quick just to show you what high does literally does put everything to high and of course we'll be ray tracing at the very end, although I assure you it will be quite terrible. But now, back to the game. Alright, well, right before I turned the camera on I had a crash. So I didn't capture on camera, but we have one crash so far.
All right. So we're getting like a 30-ish FPS experience here. But a lot more playable than when on maximum, that's for sure. So we're already getting very close to what a Steam Deck can get at uh, 7 or 800p with a couple settings on high. Pretty nice though. So yeah. If all you care about is more like the quality of the game and whatnot, yeah, you can do pretty much high 1080p and stay right around 30. There'll probably be some drops here and there at some points in the game. I mean this is just the very beginning after all. No shield for you. But in any case, now let's go ahead and we will go and move down to medium. So now we're dropping it down to medium at 1080p here. So as you can see right there, we're on medium. Let me show you the medium settings real quick here. And there we are. So now let's go ahead and hop back into the game and we'll see how medium does on the FPS and the looks. All right, well, we're back in the game here at medium settings now at 1080p. So we're still getting around the same like 30, 40 FPS, but it'll probably drop, it won't drop as close to 30 anymore, probably. We'll have to wait and see. Let us get into some more battles. Oops, almost got stuck. I think it saw me. Anyway though, this looks like a pretty good spot to stop and move it down to low. Now we will do a little low at 1080p here. So let's go look at all the low settings here. And all right, doesn't take too long in this game. So let's get back to the game. Well, all right, we got ourselves a little low gameplay now at 1080p. Hmm. 
40s to 50s now, it seems. Doesn't look as good anymore. It doesn't look absolutely atrocious, though, when you're on such a small screen, but I definitely liked the way it looked better with a little bit more settings turned on, personally. But if you want to have 1080p and the highest FPS possible, this is about the best you're going to get. If all you care about is FPS, but if all you care about is FPS, you should drop it down to 720p, because you can get even more, I'm sure. Well, not sure. We'll have to wait and see about that. In all reality, that's what should happen. Oop, can't go that way. I have reached the end of the level. Haha, I am a helicopter. My mech identifies as a helicopter. I already kill everything? Sure does recharge its power quick, that's for sure. There's something to fight. Where'd you guys all go? Ah, there's one. But all right, let's move on. Well, all right, let us go ahead and do my settings now. I skip ray tracing because I read that it's just for the garage, just like in Forza Horizon 5. Ray tracing is just for in your garage, so no point in even testing it. So, we skip right to my settings. So here's the settings I went with. And now, let's go hop into the game and we'll see how my settings do. Well, all right, let's get some gameplay with my settings here. It's 1080p. something else over here. Oop, missed.
All right, let's see here. Still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. Head to the next rank. All right, and I think with that, it's time for us to go ahead and move on to 720p. Well, of course, after charging this and my camera up a little bit, but luckily you guys don't gotta wait for that. All right, guys, so now we're going to do a little 720p, and we're starting all over again now. So we're gonna start off with maximum quality settings, which is probably a dumb idea, but it works a lot better in this game than it does in a lot of the other newer games that come out. So let's just look through the maximum settings just real quick. I'm not going to bother with ray tracing because now that I actually read it, that's just for the hanger, so nothing to really test. But, in any case, now let's go hop back into the game and we'll see how it does at 720p. Alright, we're right in the beginning of the game here, but this time at 720p. Energy consumption, yes. FPS. Not bad. We will access the catapult. And off we go. Let's go move down to high now, shall we? Now we're gonna drop it down to high at 720p here. So there's the high quality setting. Here are all the high settings. It literally turns everything to high. And we don't bother with ray tracing because it's just for the garage and there's no point in turning it on really. I mean, you can if you want, 
but it's just for garage mode. But anyway, now back to the game. Here we are, back in the game on high. FPS in some spots here, when we're out in the middle of nowhere anyway. Let's go try and find some battles. Let's move on. Now we're on to medium at 720p here. So there we go, medium. Let's go see what medium entails here. And all right, we're already through the settings. So let's go ahead and hop back into the game and we'll see how medium does. All right, well, we're back into the game now. We are on medium. I 
missed him again. Anyway, oh. there we go. Stupid helicopters. All right, now let's go move on. Last up here before my settings is a little low quality preset. So there we go. Let's go look at what that has. And all right. Back to the game we shall go. Here we go. Guess that was a little low gameplay now. Still can't quite hit 60 all the time, even on low, unfortunately. At least not unplugged. Probably could easily if I had it plugged on the wall, but we test unplugged here. Sweet. Alright though, 
let's go ahead and go and do my settings now. All right, here's the settings we're gonna go with for 720p. So let's go look at them real fast. We got texture on high, and anti-aliasing low, SSAO on high, depth of field off, motion blur off, shadow quality medium, lighting quality medium, effects high, volumetric quality, or blah, volumetric quality medium, reflections high, water service high, shader high, and no ray tracing. Cause it's just for the garage anyway. So now let's go back into the game and go see how my settings do. All right, let's get ourselves a little camera, or not camera for the gameplay, but my settings. Where I've been doing camera the whole time. Duh. Corp license, easily traced. Forget it. Go over here to our next little location. Alright, when standing on a vertical catapult, press A. Oh, okay. See, now I can at least read that on here. Get around the thing so I don't get blown up. Oh, nope, I can't go any farther that way.
Darn, he got me. Did better than last time though, got him at least smoking a half-life or whatever. But in any case, let's go wrap this video on up. Well alright guys, that's a wrap for Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon, and the Ally definitely did a little bit better job than the Steam Deck. Pretty much matched the Steam Deck at 1080p, and then got way better FPS at it, at 720p. So, finally, another game where the Ally handily beats the Steam Deck. I'm surprised, I was halfway expecting this game to just fail to run or something stupid happening, so I'm happy that it's playable on both. That is good. Everyone should be able to be play these kinds of games on their handhelds, you know? But in any case, it is now time to wrap this up so I can move on to the Azu G15 Advantage. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.